everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Bryony if you're new here don't forget to hit that subscribe button but for now let's dive on in so for today's video we are discussing a new release that is due to drop tomorrow morning it will be dropping at 8 a.m on the revolution website and it is of course the revolution and roxy collaboration she released a video this evening giving you all the information about the products um, so it's all there for you to see. I will link it in the description should you want to go ahead and see her thoughts and feelings, why she chose certain products for the line and things like that. Um, on this video I'm just going to be giving you my opinion as to whether I think these products are worth picking up. So as we're going through I'm going to be putting photographs on the screen of all the products. Let's just start with the general packaging of the products. So here you are on the screen here is a picture of the packaging for the palette. It's called Cozy Vibes. It's screaming Cozy Vibes to me. Um, just a beautiful woolen it reminds me of a blanket that I do have. Um, I don't know whether it was 2020 or 2019. Those giant knitted um, blankets were so in fashion. That's what it reminds me of. It just makes me feel snuggly. And yeah, I am loving that packaging. I think she's done better with this collection than the previous ones. The previous ones were nice though. I did like them, but I feel like... You can see her growing over these three collections. This is collection number three. The first collection, the palettes were really pretty. They were really beautiful in design. But it feels like as she, as she goes, she's getting more mature. And she's getting more to what she's actually looking for. I think it's been a learning curve. And I definitely think she's nailed the packaging. So the palette itself... I'm looking at, if you see me looking down, it's because I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking at a picture of it just to remind myself what it looks like. This palette screams to me recent revolution um, releases. I don't think I've picked up any of the palettes in this sort of genre, but I have got two on the way. It looks like a Revolution Pro palette. Although it's by Revolution, it doesn't say Revolution Pro on it. The palette design is very Revolution Pro. It reminds me a little bit of the um, the dupes that they were doing for the Huda palettes that they did for a while. And it also reminds me, as I say, of the newer released um, Revolution Pro palettes. It's that cardboard design with the very square um, packaging. It Yeah, that is what... The vibes it's given me i love the color story it's almost broken down into two different um palettes if you drew a line straight down the center of the palette you've almost got a warm side on one side and a cool side on the other side which i think is very clever because it means you can go either way with the palette um depending on your mood so i do like the fact that she's got a cool tone side and a warm tone side because it it's very rare that you do get um, a mixture of both in a palette. You either get a cool palette or a warm palette. So yeah, very, very impressed with that idea. I love the pop of glitter. I love a bit of pink and a bit of um, purple in there. And I'm all about the orange rusty tones as well. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying this palette. She's also brought out some a brush set. There's five brushes in the set. You get a pencil brush, eye crease brush. It looks like two face brushes and then a larger eye brush as well. Um, the second to large face brush looks ideal for contour. They all look super, super soft. They look really, really nice. They do actually remind me a little bit of a set that I've got that I haven't got around to trying yet, so I'm going to fish that out. This is a set they remind me of, and not one of these brushes is a duplicate of her brushes. It's almost like an extension. They are not the same colour or anything like that. They just look like the same design of bristles, and they look like they'll be the same quality. So these are the three brushes that I have from a i think these were released last year these are the um 
Conceal and Define brushes and they just look so similar to me in quality. They are gorgeous and soft so if they are anything like this they are going to be amazing brushes. Um, but yeah, not one of these is the same shape as Roxy's. Therefore, if you've already got this set, you can pick up Roxy's set as well and not have duplicates. They just look very, very similar in the bristles. They're very, very similar in the um, design of the handle as well. A different colour, but the same shape. And yeah, I do think they're going to be a very similar collection. So I'm excited for those and they are definitely something I'll be picking up as well. She's then released an eyeliner. Now I'm all about the felt tip eyeliner. It hides many a sin. If you're like me and you have your lashes hanging off half the time or you put them on wonky or anything like that, the felt tip eyeliners are great because what you can do once you've stuck your lashes on and they're a bit wonky is you can colour in, um, you know, you can make your eyeliner that a little bit thicker just to disguise it a little bit. And it's really easy to do that with your lashes already on when you've got something like this that's a felt tip that you can just kind of go, oops. So yeah, I'm excited for that eyeliner. It does look like it's got a really decent nib. It looks quite narrow. Um, and as long as it's got the pigmentation there, which I won't know until I try it, it looks like it's going to be a good product. So the final product she's released is a pair of lashes. Now, I love a lash as much as the next person. As you can tell, I've got lashes on today. These ones are Doll Beauty ones. The lashes that she's releasing look right up my street. Um, they're the kind that go, you know, smaller towards the inner corner and then get bigger as they go to the outer corner. They look gorgeous, they look perfect. They are something that I would pick if I had a choice of everything in the shop. They are the style that I would go for. So again, very, very excited to sort of give those ones a go. They do look a bit similar if you've tried them to the um, recent Disney release. There was a couple of pairs in that release that are very, very similar. So I do think they're gonna be a good pair of lashes. So yeah, those are all the products she's releasing. So we've got a lashes, we've got a liner, we've got a palette and we've got some brushes. I'm gonna be getting the whole set. Yeah, so as soon as I can get my hands on this collection, I will be ordering it tomorrow morning, just like everybody else. And as soon as it arrives with me, I will be trying it out and sharing it with you guys. Now, um, if it sells out, I wouldn't worry too much because these types of releases generally get um, restocked if they do sell out. So I imagine they'll be she'll be around for a little while with this collection. Um, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this video. Something a little bit different. If you did enjoy it, please give me a thumbs up. It really does help my channel and I hope to see you in a video again soon. Bye.